Hello friends, in this video you will find how is alcohol based hand sanitizer prepared. You can prepare hand sanitizer at home only within 5 minutes. Formulation, I have told you in the previous video formulation how to calculate. Here I will tell you how to prepare. Just you see, ethyl alcohol according to WHO 80%, glycerol 1.45% and hydrogen peroxide 0.125%. Remaining distilled water after addition 100 minus this total distilled water or boiled cold water you can use. Here 96% we are purchasing that ethyl alcohol from market then it is written here 96% that ethyl alcohol, 96% is this. And glycerol, we are purchasing 98% from market, you see 98% here from market it is labeled there 98%. And this uh, hydrogen peroxide, it is here labeled there 3%, sometime it is written this one is 6%. And this one is 3%. I am going to show with 3%. Now, calculation I have told you C1 V1 equal to C2 V2. With the help of this formula, in previous video I have told you formulation. 416.66 milliliter ethyl alcohol. Let us now start preparation. Ethyl alcohol, 416.66 milliliter. How you will take in home? This cup contain 104 milliliter. Let us take 4 cup of this one ethyl alcohol. Then 4 cup of this one ethyl alcohol I am taking. And should not be overfilled, just level only. It should be leveled, should not be overfilled. Now I have taken here this one cup first like that four cup you have to take four cup like that you have to take four cup ethyl alcohol like that you have to take four cup ethyl alcohol I have taken, should not be overfilled, just leveled. Now one cup contain 104 milliliter, 105 milliliter, but should not be overflowed, just a level. Now ethyl alcohol taken, after that, next component is glycerol, 7.39. It means there is, there are spoons, teaspoon. See, these are the teaspoons. And here, this is tablespoon. Tablespoon and teaspoon difference is there. One teaspoon means 4.9289 milliliter. And one tablespoon full means 14.7867 milliliter. This is approximately three times of this one. Then tablespoon don't use. Teaspoon. Then here two teaspoon glycerol we can take. Glycerol is here. Two teaspoon full. I am taking this glycerol. Two teaspoon full. And then hydrogen peroxide. Hydrogen peroxide is here. I have to add 20.83 milliliter. You will add 20.83 means four teaspoon full. But you will add slowly, drop by drop, small at a time and you will add like that I have measured this it was kept 20.83 and now I am adding this hydrogen peroxide small small amount I am adding 2 2 3 3 drops like that small small amount I am adding this hydrogen peroxide then like that, small, small amount, drop by drop, I am adding, what amount added? There, 20.83. 
approximate five four this one approximate five teaspoon then i have taken if four times you are taking five times that it is about 21 then like that i have taken around five times this one five teaspoonful what is that hydrogen peroxide two spoonful glycerol that is added here remaining water 55 milliliter water i have kept it here and this how you will measure 55 milliliter you will take half of this cup half of this cup you take distilled water or boiled cold water and add there now your half liter alcohol based hand sanitizer is ready you store that in plastic containers like that you will store in it and use a small amount in your home whenever you you are in the market in your office somewhere you can use next suppose ethyl alcohol is not available in the market then you can prepare isopropyl alcohol based if ethyl alcohol is not available in the market you can prepare isopropyl alcohol based hand sanitizer also isopropyl alcohol is also known as propanol and this is also known as propanol then isopropyl alcohol i have shown there according to calculation it is coming according to who 75 percent in the market i got it 99.8 percent here according to who 1.45 percent glycerol 98 percent 0.125 percent and hydrogen peroxide and 3% from market we got. Then here 99.8% isopropyl alcohol we have to take this one 3 and half cup we are using for that also cup then here 375 milliliter then I have taken 3 and half I am going to take this one 3 and half isopropyl alcohol one not over filled just level ordinarily as you are taking tea then here three cup i have taken this one and half cup again you take and three and half isopropyl alcohol take after that after taking isopropyl alcohol then with the help of teaspoon with the help of this teaspoon we will take two teaspoonful glycerol glycerol two teaspoonful we have to take and after that five teaspoonful you will take hydrogen peroxide but you will add drop by drop then glycerol now i am taking two teaspoonful glycerol glycerol just keep our skin from prevent our skin from drying now two teaspoonful glycerol is taken now hydrogen peroxide hydrogen peroxide see glycerol hydrogen peroxide as before i have told you i will take here five teaspoonful do not use the tablespoon a small small amount in drop I will add here a small small amount we will add this one five teaspoonful like that I am adding a small small amount four and a half or four and five teaspoonful we will take and a small little less amount I had taken first now add 55 milliliter distilled water um, 96 after addition 500 minus 403.94 96 milliliter distilled water I am adding means in this case you will add one cup of water one cup water I am adding to this now 
like that and after adding this water then you shake it and this is isopropyl alcohol surgical spirit you can get it from medical store also hydrogen peroxide you can get from medical store from my chemical shop you can get it and hydrogen peroxide is antiseptic disinfectant germicide it is used there glycerin prevent this skin from drying isopropyl alcohol or ethyl alcohol kill the germs and bacteria these are important remember hydrogen peroxide with teaspoon we are adding four teaspoonful or five teaspoonful but add drop by drop it is coming 20.83 you can add 20 or you can add 21 milliliter two or three milliliter difference of water or any component will not affect much you will not be taking tension slide it to five milliliter water more or five milliliter less you don't have tension that's all thank you